Hogwarts. Good morning. I'm uh, I'm uh, back the back the word. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm a pimple. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm uh, I'm Maisie's uh, I'm Maisie's uh, word. Oh no, I'm, I do apologize. I'm Dr. Russell, yes, that's why they call me. I'm uh, Maisie's uncle, yes. I'm uh, here today because her mother and yourself had uh, set up a meeting. <laughs> well, I did set it up, but I wasn't expecting her to send a proxy. <laughs> but not a proxy. <laughs> uh, her father had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, I suppose if that's the case. I, I understand, I suppose. Oh, yes, it is the case. <laughs> uh, I'm just here to take notes and report back to her, like a good uncle. Yes, that's me. <laughs> well, perhaps uh, it's just as well that you're here in her place. I won't have to mince my words like I do with a parent. You see, I'm the vice principal here, as you will have noticed uh, on the indicators on the door. That door? <laughs> the outer door. That door doesn't have uh, anything written on it. <laughs> I have been an educator for near on 35 years, and through those years I have seen a lot of bad eggs. Now I say eggs because on a fundamental level, <laughs> we are not dealing with a fully developed individual. And when I look at your niece, I see a bad egg. She's a twiddler. She's a silly heart. She's a dreamer. Oh, and she's way behind in her class. She's a chatterbox. And quite frankly, I don't think she takes anything seriously, including her career as a student. She's only six. That is not a valid excuse. <laughs> now, show me a six-year-old who doesn't dream, who doesn't have a silly heart who takes a student career seriously. <laughs> and I'll show you someone who's gonna grow up to be either the head of the National Front Party, <laughs> can't nose, shoot or blow up people in a supermarket. I don't have a college degree. Heck, I don't even have a job. <laughs> but I know a good kid when I see one. They all are good kids. They all are. Up until dried out, brain dead, Skags, like you. Drag them down and tell them they're no good. <laughs> now, if you as much scowl or look the wrong way at my niece or any other kid, I'll be back. Now, you take this penny, you go downtown and have a rat mole that <clears throat> ugly thing off your face. Miss Hogarth. <laughs>